I was feeling that. I was feeling that. Hey, y'all. My name is Tavery Glass. I'm a senior at North High. And my poem is called Interstellar. To the little colored boy with the crayons and paper, the obsession with trains and a drawing that'll hang on the wall for years to come by a single piece of tape that should have came loose after only a few months. To the little black boy sitting there with his hand up waiting for the teacher to call on him, seeming to go unnoticed, getting antsy because he knows the answer, but if he blurts it out, he'll get in trouble, but if she calls on him and he answers it right, he'll still get in trouble because he's not supposed to be smarter than everyone else. To the distressed Negro boy who doesn't fit in because he prefer to talk about video games he's played rather than girls he's laid or honey he's slayed or tobacco he spit or blunts he's hit to the unstable teenager that he has grown into. I know how it feels to be an outcast. That constant feeling of not belonging you feel as though you're from a different planet, no galaxy, no universe, no dimension. You don't quite seem to grasp the concept of living up to the stereotype like the people around you see your biggest fear is being just like your peers. Your mother tells you every day that you are meant for something greater, something out of this world, something seen only in a person's imagination. And I just want to reassure you, she's right. You are greater than great. And although you may not see it now, you are meant to do big things. And I know that you tend to keep your true feelings to yourself, but when I look at you, I see something that can not only move mountains, but fly beyond the stars. And not only fly beyond the stars, but conquer distant galaxies just by uttering a few words. When I look at you, I see that you are the vessel of something beckoning to be heard. When I look at you, I see that you are the home of something so unheard of, extraordinary, unimaginable. You're the home of a poet with interstellar abilities. Now understand that it may sound stupid, and you may feel as though this is not worth your time, but poets, listen poet. Your words will change lives and save others. Your words will bring tears to some eyes and make others jump for joy. Your words will bring free doves from their cages. And by doves, I mean you. You just need to try. To the 15-year-old struggling with the worst depression of his life, keep writing and you will feel better. To the 16-year-old struggling with the sanity, you will find your mind in each line that you write. To the 17-year-old anxious about the future, you will find your answers in your poetry. To the 17-year-old writing this poem right now, I just want to say thank you. Not only for your expressions, your family, friends, support system, but for your very words. And like them, I will always be with you. Because, well, I am you, and we are interstellar.